everyone. I'm Glenda with SureFit Designs, and lots of you already know me as Glenda the Good Stitch. So today I have with me my best video buddy. Her name is Elsa <laughs> B. Hearn, and she's one of our international distributors, and she and I are going to be teaching you a fitting issue that can occur that can be a little deceiving. And I'm going to turn the floor over to Elsa B. to get the ball rolling. All right, so today we are going to chat to you about your shoulder length measurement. Now, sometimes when we are working on the shoulder length, if we have the incorrect shoulder length, we are going to get a fitting issue. But let's first have a look at our bodice that we have on our mannequin. If you can see with this, we've got a smooth center front here. We don't have any drag lines on the sleeve as well. Now what happens when we are working with a shoulder measurement that is too short, you will find that this whole area is going to be dragging up. And it's really difficult to recreate it um, on the mannequin. But with this happening, we are going to get drag lines in the sleeve. And we can also even get drag lines from the center front also going towards the shoulder bone over there. And I know I get so many phone calls, I battle with my sleeves. So I know that if this happens to you as well, well, the first thing you're going to say, there's something wrong with my sleeve. But like Linda said, it is actually something that we pick up, which is it's causing one problem, but the problem actually is our shoulder length and not the sleeve. So let's have a look now at the photos that we're going to show you. And the first photo we're showing you is actually one of my customers that sent me this photo. And if you're looking at the arrows, can you see all the drag lines? We've got the drag lines and they are all pointing up to that shoulder bone. Also look from the center front. Can you see the drag lines again going to that area to the shoulder bone? But Again, and I'm sure you are going to agree with me, if you've seen this, the first thing you would have said, oh no, there's something wrong with my sleeve, the cap is maybe too short, something is wrong over there. Now, if we look at the second photo, can you see after unpicking the sleeve cap, um, look how much it's dropped down. If you look at where it's circled and where that arrow is pointing. And also go and look at that shoulder length measurement over there. Can you see how far that um, shoulder line is sitting up on the shoulder. It's not even close to the shoulder bone. So with this as well, the first reaction we always have is my sleeve cap is too short and it is really not our sleeve cap. In this case, you can clearly see that the shoulder line or that shoulder measurement, if it's too short, is definitely, definitely going to fit your sleeve fit. Now Glenda is going to demonstrate to you if you are going to lengthen that shoulder length, the effect it also has on the armhole. Thank you, Elsa B. So let's take a look down at the demonstration table here. And I've got just a basic bodice pulled out or, or drawn out here. And this would be your blueprint without seam allowances on it. So if your situation looked like either of those two photographs, then you do need to lengthen your shoulder line. And it might be just a, uh, you know, a little bit of trial and error to see whether you need a quarter of an inch or a half an inch or maybe five eighths of an inch. But what you're going to take a look at is what you've got. In this case, this shoulder line is four and three quarter inches long which is approximately 12 centimeters. So I'm going to bring this out just as an example. I'm going to bring it out 3 eighths of an inch, which is one centimeter. And I will do this in the red so that you can really see the change that I'm making here. So that's a one centimeter lengthening to that shoulder line. Now you need to take this and you need to blend it down into the armhole. One thing you don't want to do is you don't want to blend it off in too short of a curve. And so when you've drawn your armhole, you may have drawn it with our standard basic designing stylus and using this section for the armhole. Or, depending on the actual measurement circumference of your bodice, you may have used this arm side template. And again, this arm side template is found inside the SureFit Designs dress kit. So whether whichever tool you're using that you use to draw your armhole, just take that same tool and then start penciling in how it's best going to look. 
And one thing you don't want to do is bring it off too short like this. I'm not even going to draw that in the red pen because that's not what you would do. You're basically going to true from your extended shoulder line out into about two-thirds of the way down. So it's going to look like that. But what is really important when you are doing this shoulder line is to make sure that you get a right angle at your shoulder position. And that's so that when you start sewing the back shoulder seam together with the front, that you get a smooth continuation at the top of the shoulder. So, our, one of our newest tools is called the Curved T-Square and I'm just going to line it up like this so that I'm getting my 90 degree angle right in this corner and I'm just going to extend that 90 degree angle for about a quarter of an inch. And then I will go to the Designing Stylus and I'm going to pick that curve up and take it down very, very gradually into about two-thirds of the way down in the armhole. So it will look basically like that. So it's very, very easy to extend the shoulder line out as long as you remember to put a 90 degree angle at your shoulder point. Now, basically whatever you've done on the front, you do need to do the same thing on the back. So how much ever you lengthen it, do the same lengthening on the back. So I think that gives you enough information how to change the shoulder line and in doing this particular change, as Elsa B. said, what it does is it means that you don't have to change the sleeve cap on your pattern and now your sleeve is going to fit in there beautifully. You're not going to have any drag lines going up to the shoulder bone because your shoulder seam line on your bodice is now the correct length. So is there anything else else to be that we need to say about this? No, I think we've actually covered it and I think this has actually happened to quite a couple of ladies and I think this is really just valuable information. Yes, I agree. It's mm. completely, I, I do agree. I've had it in my customers and it is valuable information and I hope that all of you have learned mm. from this uh, another little fitting issue that might be something of mm. concern to you. So with that, I'm going to invite all of you to join our SureFit Designs mm. community, and you can do that in three easy steps. Go to surefitdesigns.com, and there'll be one of those lovely pop-ups. You can join our newsletter, and there are some yeah. free gifts to get you started. And then number two is, since you're in YouTube watching this right now, please make sure that you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, SureFit Designs, and also... If you happen to be a Facebook fan, we do have a private Facebook mm. group, SureFit Designs, and we are seeing wonderful, exciting garments from women and men and from men. all over the world. And men. Yes. Uh, all sewing with SureFit Designs. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for sharing your information, Elsa B. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye-bye. See you in the next video. Bye. Bye.